Alright, before we begin this video, I just want to address the very shiny elephant in the room that is my douchebag <gasps> earrings. I know what you must be thinking. Eh, sushi, what the hell are you doing? Take those ridiculous earrings off, you poser. But to that I say, shut the f fuck up. I like it. I think. And maybe, maybe I just want to look like a K-pop douchebag. Okay, is that a crime? Is it making your eyeballs bleed with disappointment? I don't know, maybe it is, but... Shut up, shut up! <sighs> I think I invested a little bit too much into that bit. Okay, back to our scheduled content. Today we're going to be watching another brilliant episode of Crime Watch, baby! Woo! And boy, this episode is... Just... Mmm top quality, just top-notch acting in this episode. So without further ado, let's um, learn the do's and don'ts of robbing a house. What an intro, baby. I fucking love Crime Watchers intros. I mean, just listen to the music. It gets me so hyped. Woo! Oh, why am I so fucking excited? I think it's the coffee I drank. But I mean, that's good, it's good. We, we have a lot of energy today. Mm. But it'll probably wear out halfway through the video. All right, so this episode begins with, um, Te Bun Hua. Yes. The episode begins with Te Bun Hua prowling the streets in broad daylight, looking all sus. What does he want? What is he looking for? Why didn't he pull his socks all the way up? Nobody knows. And then he starts acting like a creep, wandering the blocks looking like a panty thief. And alas, Bun Hua finally finds what he's looking for. An empty house with horrendous looking curtains. Is that someone else's trousers? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, right? You know what? Fine. He's the robber. He knows what he's doing. He probably just wanted to mask his scent with the pungent smell of a stranger's smegma. Huh? Smart. Smart. Genius! Oh, Bun Hua, your profound tricks in breaking and entering transcends that of a mortal being. Using an umbrella to rob a house? Oh, fucking genius. Duh, don't you peasants know what he's doing? Bun Hua here is on another <gasps> level, applying the art of deception on his foes. Regular robbers use a, uh, what, a knife or a machete to commit their heinous crimes. <laughs> Predictable. S tier robbers such as Bun Hua use unconventional weapons of choice to bamboozle their victims. Look at the sheer bewilderment in this woman's face. Oh, whoa, is that a fucking umbrella? This man is insane. I, I, I'm gonna give him all the m m, -m money I have. Okay, the money's over there. Go get it. Hey, pick him up. Yes, baby. Let's wake everyone in the house up to let them know that they are being robbed. What a considerate robber. Oh, Bun Hua, you truly have a heart of gold. Alright, so Bun Hua wakes all three victims up. But then, hey yo, someone else walks out of the kitchen. So now there's four people in the house. Oh, what a disaster. Oh, oh. And then Bun Hua does a brilliant Get mortal combat here. move on that poor woman. Get over here. Oh, what an insane technique. Truly a master of the craft. I mean, you can bet your naughty nipples that Bun Hua trained day and night for weeks on end for this very moment. In fact, I might even say he chose a house full of people on purpose just so that he can perform his favorite move, like the rush of the horny elephant. Also, I'm a bit hesitant to call this a house because it seems more like an illegal brothel. I mean, you have five women living in a poorly furnished house who leave their door unlocked for 
I don't know, potential customers to enter? I don't know. I don't know, that just seems kind of sus. Alright, so Boon Hua manages to escape the, the brothel, but not before discarding his smegma filled trousers on the floor, right in front of his witnesses. And he also decided to hang the other part of the trousers on a trash can. Here you go, police. Arrest me, baby. And then not long after, Boom! Daddy investigation officer Kenneth Chia arrives to inspect the crime scene. But unfortunately, he was greeted by an officer who seemed like his pet dog just died and really didn't want to be at work today. They mentioned that gate and front door stopped up when Robert entered the flat. He was carrying an umbrella and she was... But anyway, Daddy Kenneth activated his squad to look for the robber. Sir. Sir. Okay, you can start processing the crime scene. Yes, sir. There's one more there. Brian, get the camera footage. Yes, sir. Let's see if you caught our suspect running away. What do you think? Do you go right or left? I'll take the right. Okay, I'll go left. Did Kenneth Chia just dismiss his partner like that? <sighs> Alright, what do you think, partner? Which way did the robber go? Left or right? Um, based on all the clues, I think he went right. Yeah, fuck you, I'm going left. This is the likely route the suspect took. I know this route. He lives to the hospital there. Please process this. Yes, sir. Where did these two ninjas come from? Weren't they supposed to be processing the scene? Okay, you can start processing the crime scene. Yes, sir. And why does Kenneth Chia seem to hate them? I mean, these poor rookies just processed the whole crime scene under five minutes just for you. Maybe, maybe they just want to ask you out for coffee, Kenneth. And then just as they arrive, you ask them to process a fucking trash can. The hospital there. Please pause <sighs> So rude ah, uh, this Kenneth Gorgo. But anyway, Kenneth and his disagreeable partner arrives at the hospital. They look through CCTV footages. They do a sweep of the whole hospital. Bingo bango and they found Bunhua. Investigation Officer Kenneth Chia. You're under arrest for house trespass and attempted robbery. Yeah! Get I guess Bunhua thought he was a ninja or some kind of magician performing a disappearing act by throwing a canned drink on the floor. <laughs> well, I guess he is a magician because five seconds after he bought the canned drink, it just magically became empty. And so, yay, Bunhua, the smegma sniffing robber, gets caught. Yes! And as usual, Crime Watch ends the episode with a very angry police officer walking and walking and walking to wrap up the episode. Well anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I am now going to rob a bank and honestly, I feel really confident and fully equipped with my scent masking technology. Oof, this bad boy has been sitting in my pants for three days now, so... Oh, just gotta mask my scent a bit. Alright, now I'm ready. Oh, and of course, my deadly weapon of choice. I mean, with this setup, I'm practically unstoppable now. Don't even bother calling the police on me because as we've learned from the video, I'll be calling them myself. Just trying to be a considerate robber. Hello, is this the police? Yeah, I'll be robbing the UOB bank branch in Orchard.